टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द सेकंड इंपॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट ऑफ एनसीएस मैथिंग स्टैटिस्टिक्स दैट इज स्क्यूनेस हियर वी विल डिस्कस व्हाट इज द स्क्यूनेस एंड हाउ वी कैन इंप्रूव द स्क्यूनेस ऑफ एन एलिमेंट और आवर मैथिंग सो स्क्यूनेस डिटरमाइंस हाउ क्लोज टू आइडियल अ फेस और सेल इज मींस व्हेन वी डन मैथिंग ऑन आवर पार्ट देन द एनसीएस मैथिंग कंसीडर द सेल्स और द फेसेस टू बी आइडियल दैट मींस a triangle should be equilateral triangle or quadrilateral should be an equiangular quadrilateral but due to the complex geometry this sometimes this is not possible for the masher to complete meshing in such a way that the triangular or quadrilateral forms are all are equiangular or equilateral triangles so that is why uh, skewness is define the cell how it is close to the ideal or equiangular or equilateral okay so the following table list is the range of skewness value and corresponding cell quality means the cell which have skewness 1 is degenerated means that is the worst cell in our meshing and we have to improve that cell and the cell which uh, indicates uh, zero skewness is the equilateral so now let's uh, talk about uh, how to calculate the skewness or how solver calculate the skewness in ansys meshing so there are two method for the measuring skewness number one is equilateral volume based skewness the formula for this skewness is optimum cell size minus cell size upon optimum cell size it means uh, it calculate the area of the cells and especially this method is apply for the triangle and tetrahedral Now the second method is normalize equiangular skewness Now the formula for this is maximum of theta max minus theta e upon 180 minus theta e comma theta e minus theta minus upon theta e that is where uh, that is it will take the maximum value from the, these two expressions where theta max is the largest angle in the face or cell Or theta min is the smallest angle in the face or cell, and theta e is the angle for an equiangular face cell that is 64 triangle and 94 square. It theta e indicates that when the our cell is triangular, then the theta e should be 60, and if the cell is square, then theta e should be 90. Okay, and it will take the maximum value from these two these two expressions. And uh, this normalized equiangular skewness is uh, applicable for all type of element, either it is prism, tetrahedron, quadrilateral, and everything in the meshing. Now, for the element which include both the equilateral volume based skewness or which include triangle, tetrahedron. and which also include the prism then the measurer or the solver will calculate both equi equi equilateral volume based skewness and normalized equiangular skewness and will report the maximum skewness so let's move to the ansys meshing module and uh, let's talk how to improve the skewness so this is our workbench here we just drag and drop this mesh from the tool box and here i have the geometry which i just import and i will start the meshing by double click on the mesh element uh, so friends this is our part in the meshing now we will perform meshing on this so just click on mesh and the solver i am keeping is mechanical only and i will just create the uh, default mesh so and we will look what will be the aesthetics sticks in this case so this is our default mesh which is created by the mechanical and we will look for the aesthetics by clicking on the skewness which is situated in the aesthetic so here we found that the maximum skewness is 0.9999 means there are cell which are completely nearly completely gen degenerated and average is 0.58 which is not very good so 
so we will improve the matching quality uh, by increasing the relevance to 50 and again we will change the solver here from mechanical to CFD and now we will check mm -hmm. what are the changes in our meshing quality so friends this is the meshing which is created by CFD fluent with the relevance as 50 now we will see the our skinness so we can see the drastic change which appear in the maximum skewness of an element from 0.99 to 0.86 and the average is decreased from 0.58 to 0.23 this we can consider as a good uh, skewness or good average skewness so friends there are many methods by which you can change or you can decrease the skewness to the least possible value so one of one is this and uh, you can also improve the skewness or reduce the skewness by changing these values okay friends thank you for watching this tutorial hope you find this as informative tutorial thank you